田中の若造てめえ俺を挑発しやがってそんなもんでな俺がな本当に燃えると思ってるんかよだったら今日の試合面白いじゃねえかもっと燃やしてみろよ俺を燃やすもんができたらな俺は本当に喜んでやるよでも生半時かかかってくるなわざわざ俺様がな横浜まで来ててめえと試合してやるんだ生半時かなあな考えてきやがったら俺は本当にてめえぶっ殺してやるぞそれだけだよ分かった出てけよな However, he can get to a man. However, he can hurt him. Pogo's trademark. Fire. Nail. Oh, look, Tanaka's bleeding. Oh, Tanaka's bleeding from the head. Sort of a clothesline with a boot. Very unorthodox. Very strange. Very difficult. The boots to take hands on Tanaka. Look at Tanaka bleeding from the forehead. All those chair shots, the boot shots. Again, Pogo likes to take this out because he can use any weapon out there. Anything can. Again, a chair, a martial arts weapon. This dates back to the 6th dynasty, the Feng Shui dynasty in Japan. Use the chair. It actually was a wooden chair. A folding chair or something that's been sanctioned since 1933. Since 33, they have used a metal chair as a martial arts weapon. That is not true. Oh. You can hear that one from here. 
inside and throughout the arena. The fans just shrieking in horror. Tanaka came out here, a ball of fire, certainly neutralized by Pogo. I can't look at that. And this is hardcore wrestling at its most hardcore before any other wrestling promotion did it. FMW did it first. The world's leader, innovative, hardcore wrestling dropped here. Turn around by Tanaka. He fans applaud as Tanaka has become so resilient. Very strategic fighter. He hasn't been able to get on track yet. Well, he's going to give Pogo a little taste of his own medicine. Dropkick, combination brawling and technical wrestling from Masato Tanaka. Again, you see Tanaka more often. He's a scientific wrestler, knows a lot of the moves and holds, but I think Pogo's taking him off of this game. He's clearly fighting DDT. Pogo's fight. Nice DDT onto the mat from Tanaka. Pitch slap. Pitch slap. That's more than I gave you this morning, isn't it, John? <laughs> Usually wake up after the second one. Oh. Whoa! Nice comeback by Mr. Pogo with a nice super kick. Well, looks like Mr. Pogo is going to take a little visit. He's going to cut. He's getting close to where we are right now. Gonna, uh, just stay out of the way. What is that he has? Uh, a new bag of tricks, as it were? Yeah. One of them. Yes, of course. Oh, oh no. I've seen him as well. Yeah, this is so familiar to FMW fans. Can you see the serrated edge on that blade? Oh, that's sickly with a... Uh... Wait! He's taking... He just took the cork, cork off the signal. He's ready to turn Tanaka into, into a bowl of weedings. He's driving that. We've seen this with a abandoned move by Pogo. He takes the blade, drives it into the skull of the man, actually trying to pierce the skull into the gray matter, drawing blood at first that runs into the opponent's eyes, weakens him, demoralizes him, actually blinds him momentarily. Tanaka shrieks out in pain, and the fans are just in shock. Yeah, Mr. Pogo is hanging Tanaka out to dry. I mean, this match has turned into a blood thing. 
I wish I could say I'm surprised by this, but, but as everyone knows, this is exactly the kind of dirty fighting you come to see on a regular basis from Mr. Pogo. Um, I am, however, always surprised at continued passivity on the part of the referee. I mean, here we have a guy who has a sickle in the ring and has opened the skull of his opponent. He strangled him with a chain. PLM, John, perfectly legal move. This is professional martial arts wrestling, and you know all too well martial arts have incorporated weapons for thousands of years. These matches have deep-seated historical roots, and Mr. Pogo is a master of using his weapons of choice. Okay, okay, Eric, okay, well then, what about when they're in the audience and they hit each other with chairs? How can that be a legal move? John, John, sometimes you just, you think too one-dimensional, okay? Just because the metal folding chair, it hasn't been around or used as a weapon for the past 2,000 years, doesn't mean that it isn't as useful or as legal. Legal, I think. The metal folding chair was admitted into the official rule book as accepted martial arts as a weapon in 1933. If you remember the last match between the great Yamaguto and his lifetime rival, Kazutsu, the one-legged wonder, I'm sure you do, like today's match, much of it took place in the crowd. And there was chaos, and there was a true seesaw battle, but in the end, Yamaguto ultimately won the match with a skull-thumping slam of a folding chair right on top of Kazutsu's head. And the rest of the community fought, Loser by disqualification. You know that story. But this match, this is the match that really divided the people in Japan. I mean, neighbors would turn against each other. Brothers wouldn't speak. There were even quite a few protests. And if I remember my history correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, there was even a riot in a fishing village in New York. Now, but despite this, Yamaguchi fought the establishment and won. He fought the law and the law won. What is this? I don't know. What, what trick does he have in his bag of tricks now? Oh no, wait. Oh no, this can't be. Oh, please. No, no, no. Bad boy. No. Bad boy. You know when you play with matches, you know what happens. Oh, no. uh, he just needs one to pull Oh, oh. 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 I'd say he knocked the snot out of him, but there was something else in there. I think he, you know, Mr. Poga has a love of flame. He's quite a flamer, if I might say. And I wouldn't call it his face. No, not at all. So he came back for Tanaka. Thank God Tanaka did that. Um, thank God uh, Tanaka saved us from a bad Gene Simmons impersonation. Oh, had, a, had a moment going there. Uh, anyway, what were you saying before? Well, I was talking about uh, Yamaguro in this classic fight, how he fought the establishment of the Whoa! That was a baseball bat. A barbed wire baseball Barbed wire baseball bat. Only in that I don't know if you knew this. It was aside from Yamaguro was actually friends and aided by Albert Einstein. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh. Yamaguro argued that time is relevant. Because of this, so were his choice of weapons, a.k.a. the folding chair. Uh, he insisted that was once commonplace, like old nunchucks and throwing star. That's old school. And so he argued that the new martial arts weapons that were constantly being invented, they needed to be recognized and accepted in the community. At the time, he said the folding chair will be the weapon of choice by wrestlers in the future. They said he was crazy, Johnny. But here we are nearly three quarters of a century later, and his prediction came true. There were more wrestlers who the folding chair as a choice of weapons than anything else, and that is a fact you can count on. All right, uh, whoa, look at that. It looks like a sleeper hold on a Mr. Pogo. Somebody better put that man to sleep. Sleeper hold. Possibly into a pinning combination. Not oh, the crowd is getting excited. They're calling out his name. Travis Channel. Pogo is no favorite of this crowd. He is a dirty, dirty wrestler. Again, he fights by the rules, but he certainly skirts them as far as he can. Yeah, according to the rules of FMW. FMW, again, if it wasn't legal, he couldn't do it. Good night. Which I don't think is a good move for Tanaka, because this is where Pogo is most familiar. Yeah, exactly. Tanaka, he's more of a traditional technical wrestler, and um, Pogo, Pogo's backyard is, you know, outside the ring. Tanaka setting up a table. Well, he'd like to have a seat there. Maybe he's going to give him a chiropractic adjustment. I, I think that. I don't think so. Maybe he just wants to take some lamp here. Well, he's in for a rude awakening in a few minutes uh, as Tanaka goes to the top turnbuckle. Splash! Nice crack. Pipeline splash. Pogo's rising in pain right now. I actually haven't seen Pogo in this much pain in quite some time. I'm not sure if he's going to have enough strength to finish this match right now. Tanaka took a heck of a beating, but he is revitalized. Looks like he's going to create something to uh, get a little more pain. Look at that of uh, handyman work, I guess. Well, I think he has a background. Jagged edge of that splintered off piece of wood. 
Nothing scientific about this. That's, that's unfortunate because Tanaka is a, a fabulously gifted wrestler. And he's stooped to the level of Mr. Pogo. Once again, I mean, Tanaka, he's not trying to win this match, he's trying to survive. Tanaka, you might have thought so. I think, again, these two men are out to hurt you. It might have been a civil, civil match before has turned gruesomely. Back and forth action, back and forth. You think one is down and the other one comes back. Look at the yeah, blood. Like, yeah, like, it's like one is down and one like comes back from the dead, like Mr. Pogo actually has. I get creepy when I even think about this. Masala Tanaka, very, very familiar to uh, U.S. fans. Masala Tanaka, I shot to head there. Um, well, he's proven himself in the U.S. Uh, for the uh, wrestling office in Philadelphia, where they do hardcore style. But this is even more hardcore, more extreme, beyond the rules. FMW. FMW. I won't get this anywhere else. No, not at all. Whoa. Well, that table has come to good use today, hasn't it? Oh, fans just... That could be. Fans roaring their approval. They like what they're seeing. They like what Tanaka's doing to the dreaded evil Mr. Kogo. Like before I'm smashing the face, get some little momentum off the ropes. I splash into the ropes on the Mr. Kogo. Close line. DDT. DDT. One, two, two times. It's no surprise to the fans that a few years back in the hard I don't want to talk about it. But, hey, listen, Professor, I don't know. We have lots of action. Well, I mean, I just want to say, back on the Rockets, we did a little wrestling there, and that's when I started my wrestling announcing career. There was a move that uh, we called the missionary move. It differs slightly from the conventional missionary position because of the equipment. Okay, but I just want to. All right, we're going to save this for afterwards. I'm going to give a little seminar. So. Oh, I can hardly wait. Oh, into the. Look at, look at that crimson mask. Blood just pouring down the face of Masato Tanaka. Well, if you wanted to get a little color, he certainly got it. Looks like he's taking it for a pile driver. Pile driver. Onto a metallic object. One, two. I mean, that's. Wait, that, that. I mean, I mean, what a miracle! And the fans, the fans applaud. I mean, very hard on the head and neck. I mean, a pile driver onto a chair. Pogo wants to take him out there. Pogo is. Uh, well, there he goes. He brings out his uh, big piece of lumber. Oh, look at that. Have a seat. He's tempting and He's toying with him right now. Oh, I got a feeling somebody's going to land after me. He's got a whole run. Right. It's about to you know, we've got to get some paramedics there. Pogo goes into the kill. Miracle. He almost couldn't break free. He was almost, I mean, caught his own feet in the rope. I don't believe it. Tanaka survived it. How can he survive all this punishment from the evil Mr. Pogo? He just loves to torture his opponent. A brutal, brutal man, Pogo. He's going to throw him back on his Pogo stick again. I hope Tanaka sticks it to Pogo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Test of will for reversal. Whoa. And Pogo gets a taste of his own medicine. Onto that, onto that friend of his, you could say, the uh, barbed wire baseball player. Barbed wire. That is military grade barbed wire. Okay, thank, thank you for that military medicine. Well, I just wanted to point that out. I think it's a. Oh, that's a line shot right up the middle. One run's going to score on that one, and here comes the second run. Oh, Pogo oh, just had him. He's on. I mean, Tanaka's taking so many strikes where he's pile sends driver, out. Oh, oh. A pile driver right onto the barbed wire. Look at the blood covered on the. The man is dazed and confused. I think this one, is going to be an easy count. Two. This is out. You know, he kicks I, out and he threw him right, Mr. Pogo, right onto the barbed wire. I don't, Eric, I don't believe it. Tanaka has taken so many strikes to the head and body, I thought he would soon be out. I mean, but so far, he's still safe, as they say. 
can't seem to be able to put on the finishing touches. Tanaka is really putting on a show of endurance. And this has got to be frustrating for Mr. Kogan. He thought this match... Oh! He probably thought this match would have been over we seven got minutes of match. I'm going to implore the referee to call this match. Well, you know what? I'm surprised every time I think it's over, Tanaka has a blast. And we haven't seen the patented Tanaka blast. He hasn't had the chance for that, have we? Well, I mean, it's so surprising. You get away with so much in this... FMW wrestling action. The referee is very lenient, but then again, the participants, when they come to FMW, when they sign their names on the dotted line on the contracts, they know what they're getting into, and they got to be crazy. Here comes that, that, that chain. Another favorite weapon of Mr. Pogo. Chain of fools. Chain of fools right here. Got, I think he's going to go for this right wall right here. Wrap around twice. Wrap around three times and you're done. Yeah, there Suck is, the life out of the opponent. There it is, that chain, chain, chain of fools. You've got to be a fool to get into the ring with Mr. Pogo. And that's not just a chain reaction. I've seen him do this before. Look at the leverage he's getting. He's painting the man by his very own weight as he pulls the chain and gets more leverage pushing off the road. Oh, we've seen this cool in there. Again, I might point out a perfectly hey, that's legal it. move. Referee. That's it. Referee calls for the belt. That's it. That's that it. He's submission. done. That's done. Let's get the paramex. I'm going to call for a... I see there's a gentleman over here. I'm going to need some help over here. There he is. Your winner in his own kind of match. Mr. Pogo, this is FMW Hardcore Wrestling. Wait, it looks like I hope we can stop this. Please, 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 please not get Mr. Pogo in this. The match is over. The match is over. Pogo. Now he's just floating over his victory. A photo. Please, somebody get this man out of here. Oh. It's gonna be another night of exciting man. I, I can barely take a look at Only the way FMW is presented. There he is, Masato Tanaka. Completely. I mean, some of this man needs help. I can't believe. I mean, what I can't we believe. I, we called for the paramedics 20 minutes ago. They should have asked. 